If only we went back in time to say the 1918s or the 1919s, i.e. Pika Blinder um, times, that is, not that I'm actually condoning, you know, the path that they took, you know, involving the Empire and all, but the point I'm trying to make without waffling on is, go to 1918, folks, and 1919, just for a brief moment. take a step back and reflect on just how much our currency was worth back then according to my calculations I mean I don't know if I'm 100% correct here and I'm more than happy to be to, to be corrected even a pound within the 1918s was the equivalent to 57 pound and 85 pence now you know five pound back then would have seen the average worker much more wealthier Because back then, you could actually get way, way, way much more with our currency than we do today with high inflation the way that it is. Now, wouldn't wouldn't it be uh, fantastic if we actually went back in time and lived within an old age where everybody... Gets to live a life that they're happy with. The rich aren't filthily, disgustingly rich from greed, self entitlement, narcissism, and only God knows what else. And the average Joes out there that choose to work their asses off. their finance that they get will go a lot further than the finance that we get today I mean 14 pound <laughs> 14 pound for some shit rag are you kidding me? This, you know, I can't help but laugh it off. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is frustrating, you know, especially to a guy, you know, that so happens to shit at least five, maybe six, no more than seven times a day. Fourteen pound for thirty-two shit rag rolls. I mean, come on now, where is the justice in that? <laughs> it's absolutely shocking, man. But still, that's beside the point, isn't it? I think, in all honesty, we, the United Kingdom, <clears throat> And anywhere else for that matter across the globe, we, the United Kingdom, um, would be much better off living within the older days, say from 1918 and 1919, because our finance would go so much more further than it is today. I mean, what's a pound worth now? virtually worth pocket money isn't it I mean in other words it's worth sweet fuck all
Now, if you were to go to 1919s, the pound coin would actually be worth over, I believe, £110. Just imagine. And I'm referring to the government here. Imagine how much better off the world would be if we actually reverted back to, say, 1918 or 1919 and lived within those years. Not only, you know, those with fat, juicy bank balances would be able to live a lot longer, the average workers and all. Okay, they might not have, you know, ridiculously big millions within their account, but even five grand would be seen as being within your millions back then. Well, not your millions, maybe your million or two, for that matter. And I think for the economy to work, you know, this video is going to get a lot of bashing. I don't give a shit, because I'll bash those that bash me. It is what it is. I think for this economy to work, we are going to have to go back in time to either 1918 and 1919 where the finance back then was actually worth a whole lot more to what it is today because like I said back then even with just five thousand pound in your account you would be seen as a rich wealthy man or better yet woman although I'm referring mostly to the men like I said because we are the workers you know we are the workers we are the protectors and providers right five thousand pound back in those days would make you a rich wealthy man but now I mean, come on, folks. What is five grand? At, uh, five grand, even. What is it actually worth today? It's worth sweet fuck all. Think about it. But if you were to go to 1918 and 1919, back then, man, I'm telling you, you would be living like a king. No joke. But now, on five grand it might sound like a lot of money but with inflation at its all-time high and with our current privatized um, public sectors as you will and they're ridiculously high paid um, charges for treatments and only God knows what else. That five grand wouldn't last you 10, 15 minutes at best. So, is a video to you government. If we could actually go back in time and live within the 1918s and 1919s, everybody even those, like I said, with either just five grand or if, if better yet, ten grand in their account. Everybody, even the filthy rich, get to live a life where everybody's heard and everybody is treated adequately. I will share another video at a later date in regards to what five grand or ten grand would actually be worth, you know, back in the 1918s and 1919s. Um, and I'll also share a video on what the inflation was back in those years. I believe it may be may have been even a little bit higher than what it is today but not by much although don't quote me on it but yeah man you know 
many people aren't going to agree with this video because they're so trapped and enslaved within their blue pill, blue pilled ways of living and thinking. But only those that are spiritually woke, that have a dangerously high IQ, would actually understand where I'm coming from. You know, if we went back and lived within the 1918s and 1919s, I'm telling you, man, everybody would be able to live a whole lot longer with finance because finance back in those days went further to what it is now i mean the pound like i said today given inflation at its all-time high a pound is worth sweet fuck all pardon my language but it's true 1918s and 1919s 1918 I think the pound was recorded at being worth 52 pound and 85 pence like I said although don't quote me on it a pound um, in 1919 on the other hand was worth over 110 pound now imagine if we reverted back to those years the filthy rich would be able to live 101 million different lifetimes and even the average worker on just say five thousand pound or ten thousand pound in their bank account would still be able to live like a king because their money back then would have been worth a whole lot more than it is worth today common sense